Let's do a classic physics experiment called the Rubens tube. Now, I really want to bring it down, but it involves open flames, and some people have issues with open flames. So, what we have here is a length of PVC pipe, has about 100 or so holes drilled at half inch increments, got some foil tape to keep it from melting. On this side, we've got a two inch speaker matching the diameter of this two inch tube. On that side, we've got some lab tubing leading to some propane. So let's fire it up and see what it does. All right, as you can see, we have some nice standing planes, a little bit of oscillation from the vibrations in the hose. Let's throw some sound in there, see what happens. Let's start with a 449 hertz frequency. As you can see, this sets up a standing wave, and we can see, well, the emerging sine curve that represents sound. What happens here is we're having the sound compressing here and not compressing here. The lower pressure here allows more gas to escape into the atmosphere, shaping the sound curve. Now, if we change the frequency, you can see each time we set up a standing wave, we get that sine curve. Higher the frequency, the more waves. Now, let's throw some music at this. How about some Dave Rubeck? Now we have real life sound visualization with five. The Dave Rex isn't uh, terribly energetic, so let's try something uh, a little more energetic. And that's a Rubens tube.